quick to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Picks up along the boards by Marcel. And now it's grabbed by McDavid. Here's a short pass to Lee. Edmonton's got it behind the net. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Good hit on the play. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck exits the zone. Taken by Bailey. Dumped in, and they'll go get some fresh legs. The Oilers have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Wallstrom's picking up steam. And they'll dump it in. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Nurse. Gaining momentum along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still no score in this one. Edmonton's got it and they're on the attack. There's a busted twig on the play, and this is why stick budgets are through the roof now in hockey. Yeah, you can say that's why you bring another one, but it doesn't help you now. By the time you go get the new one, the puck's somewhere else. No kidding. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Stoppage in play as we get it offside. Past the midway mark in this period. Still looking for our first goal. New York's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Battle along the boards. Gets the puck over to Mayfield. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by McLeod. And the puck leads the zone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Goes right to the crease. Edmonton's through center right now in the offensive end. Scrum along the wall. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. The Islanders grab possession of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Aho. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Huge stop by Campbell. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Opening face off here in this second period is about set to go. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Oilers talked about being a better puck possession team. In that first period, they played almost flawlessly, but they have not scored. Pellet stick handling in his own zone. Quick feed to McDavid. Oh, oh, posted in for the goal! Perfect shot. The goaltender's in position. Can't catch up to the pocket. It's off the pipe and in. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. 
Edmonton's defense translates into some offense, and they got the lead. Well, when the game's tied, you can't start taking a bunch of unnecessary chances. They've got the lead now, and we'll see if they can extend it before the break. Cut grab by Barry. Here they come on the rush. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the squad is turned aside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Denies them again! Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Slides it on over to Beauvillier. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And now it's over to Yamamoto. Edmonton's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Picked up along the wall by Barry. The Islanders have it from their own end. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Wallstrom. Answered the call on that play. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Wallstrom. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Oh, just a textbook hit. Centering feed. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Edmonton gained possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Romanov. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Edmonton's gained the line and into the zone. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. Quick pass to Hyman. Denied by the goaltender. Hyman's got no quit in him here. Once he stumbles, that play could die right there, but he stayed with it, found an open player, and was able to keep the puck alive. Campbell's going to cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. McLeod's won the draw inside his own end. Murray's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Here's a short pass to Ryan. Grabs the puck. Sends a pass over. Clutterbuck's got it along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Dishes it to Yanmark. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Picked up along the boards by Barzell. The transition game now into full effect as they move across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Yanmark. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? New York's fortunes in this game are going to rely almost entirely on whether they can get more pucks to the net. But the fact that they're even in touch with this game is a bit of a surprise. They've really not generated much at all. And he takes the feed. Bailey's got it in the offensive zone. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Gets the tip! And that's poked away by Bailey. Edmonton's got the puck now. McDavid's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. 
Still plenty of time left in this frame. Edmonton sub one zip. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Oilers lead it 1-0. New York's got a hold of the puck. The Islanders have it now. And the puck's not loose. Taken along the wall by Pellick. Fires it into the offensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Barry. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. New York's looking to break out. Moves it to Nelson. Tries to get it to Beauvillier. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And that carries off a stick. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Pajot's crossed the line and gained the zone. And they fail to go tape to tape. Keeps hold of the puck. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Nice feed. Couldn't connect on that pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed from his own end. Sends it in on the attack. Hyman's lugging the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Ryan. Takes it and looks ahead. New York's got the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Paul Mary. Quick pass to Pasho. New York's got the puck against the boards. The Oilers have it against the wall. Edmonton's working on the shuttle mainly because they played most of the game in the other team's end. A great offense is the best defense. Here in the late going of the frame, Edmonton's ahead 1-0. The Oilers win the faceoff. And that shot dies in traffic. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Passes it to Yanmark. The Oilers play along the boards. And that goes wide of everything. Oh, the goalie's not going to have to do much with that unless they dive way out of the net. That thing's a way wide of the cage. And now he angles it across to Bellows. The Islanders cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes a lot but still hangs on. The Islanders really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Gains the zone through the middle. Oh, he can't connect. And that clangs off the iron. Uh, sometimes you wonder, how can you not hit the net? It's wide open for you. Centering feed. The Oilers' top line continues. A shot scores into the empty net. How many of these do you have again? Not very many. I mean, you're out there to defend the lead. You're not out there to score, but this is just a nice little perk. Edmonton's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. Great save! And that'll do it for ringside here. Best effort of the series between the pipes, and they get the win as a result. And they needed it, James. Trailing in the series, they needed somebody to step up and be a hero. He was that tonight. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.